you haven't had a lot of time to reflect as the game was yesterday but what are your thoughts looking back to the 2-1 victory against Ballatown? Yeah as you say we haven't had much time we had the, we had the lads in this morning the lads who um, obviously uh, didn't get many minutes last night so um, we've had to you know, get the session on for them so today will be a little bit about looking back at that properly um, initial thoughts are we'll Mars off at first half but that happens in football doesn't it do you know what I mean um, lot of credit to them they got on the ball a lot more than they, they thought we thought they would um, and they were you know that's probably the best baller performance I've seen for, for a long time so fair play to them they've recruited well um, but then once we made the changes at half time um, you know that's what half time's for getting a few points across flip the shape a little bit and then yeah to be fair they came out again first 10 minutes second half and they did alright again but once we got a real foot on it we kept the ball better um, we worked a little bit harder off the ball um, we yeah we looked dangerous and once Brob scored that goal they looked a little bit dead on the feet they, you know they put a massive shift in and it was just a case of whether it was, we were we were going to run out of time really but yeah fair play to the lads it was that desire and togetherness to, and belief to go and get the winner is, is top drawer and says a lot about these players and, and how we started the season and after four consecutive JD Cymru Premier victories it's JD Welsh Cup action this week we leave behind a seven point lead so no one finished business in the league itself we can concentrate on the cup this weekend yeah that's it um, nice little breather from the league now we've had we've had a really tough start so we can put that to bed concentrate on this as yourself it's a, it's a massive competition um, it's a really important competition in for, you know for Welsh clubs me individually I, I, I've always loved this competition um, where yeah, you know technically we, we still hold the, tro the trophy don't we so um, yeah look it's it's a, it's a good opportunity for some of the lads to freshen things up a little bit um, we won't dis disrespect it or disrespect the opposition in any way shape or form but we've got a lot of lads there who are, who are eager to get minutes and, and um, we've just got to get that balance right now of, as you say um, yeah it's, it's, it's a top competition and, and uh, we'll yeah, do every, everything we can to win the game as like, just like we do every day the lads will be off tomorrow and then we, we go again travel Friday and you've had a very successful time as a player in the Welsh Cup. Now, as an assistant manager, it would be good to continue that success. Yeah, 100%. As I say, we've had some really good moments in the Cup, uh, personally, and, and with the lads, we've had some great wins. Um, I've had a few last minute goals and, and stuff like that in the past year, years and years ago. So yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a magical cup. It's, it's, and you know, if you make that final, it's a great day out at the end of the season to top the season off. And our opponent this weekend, Carmarthen Town, they were in the top flight until 2019-20. After a 24-year stay, they were a very familiar opponent to us during the course of the season. However, things change with relegation, as we know. What can we expect from the old gold this time round? Yeah, we spoke to a few people. We've done our little bit of homework. We've still got another couple of days, obviously. We spoke about the, the quick turnaround, um, so that's going to be... You know, take up the next the next couple of days or so. Look, we're familiar with them anyway. And, you know, it's it's a it's a big club. Um, the I remember them beating us in the League Cup final at Newtown as well. So yeah, anything can happen on uh, on a cup day. Home advantage, lads will be well up for it. You know, it's it's a one-off game. So um, yeah, they'll give everything they've gotten, but we'll be ready. We'll make sure we just just do our job like normal. Um, but yeah, got a couple more days now to prepare properly. And following on from that, although they uh, have been relegated, of course, they're mid-table at the moment. Nevertheless, they have a number of players with top-flight experience, home advantage, as you say, nothing to lose. They'll fancy their chances of an upset. Yeah, of course they will. You've got to, haven't you? It's, it's the Welsh Cup. Anything can happen. Um, as you say, a couple of ex-players been in around the league know what we're about. And most importantly, they'll know what it's going to take to beat us on 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 the day. So uh, they'll be passing that experience on to the players. It's look, it's a one-off game, it's a cup game. Anything can happen, yeah. And for the new Saints, three games in the space of a week. Are we likely to see many, or if any, changes to the starting lineup when we go to Richmond Park? To be honest, look at the stats from last night and the, the shift the lads put in is is different class in terms of the GPS. Um, but we've come through it 
in, in quite a good position. Obviously, we'll have Keston back available. Um, so we've got a lot of options there. There's a lot of lads who come on and made a difference. Cesar and Louis came on last, you know, last night and, and made a massive difference. So yeah, we'll freshen things up. But but like I mentioned before, you know, you've got to be careful of making too many changes or disrespecting anyone and, and just making sure people are right. Um, like you say, it's been it has been a tough week physically, loading wise. So yeah, as I say, we'll just get together over the next day or so. Um, got the rest of the day now. The session's done, boxed off there from today. So uh, yeah, we'll 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 be all right. We'll be in a good position no matter who goes on the pitch. Like I say, we've we've come through that game really well, which is which is a massive positive. And you mentioned Keston Davies back in contention for a, a starting place. What's the general availability of the players? Yeah, like I said, Blaine's not far away now. Um, and then, yeah, everyone else is, is, is good to go. And like, yeah, like I mentioned, everyone from last night spot on. So we're in a great position now.